Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdullah Hamid Al-Din and today we'll be looking over an EE472 project topic in ultrasound contrast agents. Improving image contrast is important in all imaging technologies. In ultrasound specifically, we use contrast agent to differentiate between tissues, such as the picture shown on the left where we, where we are using contrast enhanced ultrasound to show finer details in regions uh, compared to the normal ultrasound picture on the right. To better understand contrast agents, we will briefly explain contrast agents themselves, what materials goes into them, and the different procedures that they can be used in. The main contrast in ultrasound imaging comes from the difference between the tissue impedance at the tissue to tissue interface. In normal operations, some areas of the body, including liver tissue, different capillaries, and heart structures, are not always so easy to spot. Scientists researched and developed contrast agents to enhance the contrast by increasing the impedance mismatching between the interfaces. This method is called Contrast Enhanced Ultrasound, or CEU for short. In contrast enhanced ultrasound, an injection of microbubbles or nanobubbles that have lower density compared to, to the tissue density is used to create the difference in impedance between the interface. As we can see in this picture on the left, where normal ultrasound is used, but the abscess in this liver tissue is not very definitive on the normal ultrasound, while in contrast enhanced ultrasound, we can clearly define the, uh, the borders of the absence uh, in that liver tissue. Microbubbles used as contrast agents usually consist of a gas core made out of air, nitrogen, or any biocompatible uh, gas uh, contained in a shell that is usually made out of a lipid or albumium in advanced application while in earlier adaptation of contrast agents in ultrasound, the microbubbles were suspended in a liquid that acts as a surfactant to reduce surface tension and prevent microbubbles from coalizing. The composition of materials used as ultrasound contrast agents is important as it defines many physical and biological properties. Some of those properties include the frequency which affect the propagation of ultrasound waves and also the duration which is uh, simply explained as the time until the bubbles collapse allowing for uh, the time of the imaging where it's also affected by the frequency as higher mechanical index or higher frequencies of the ultrasound waves uh, increase the chance of the bubble collapsing also the bubble size uh, as it can cause problems uh, in veins and arteries and etc it is also important to consider the biocompatibility of the material used as some adverse reaction can be caused uh, by the materials uh, if not considered properly. Contrast enhanced ultrasound is preferred compared to other contrast agents methods due to its safety profile, uh, profile and lower cost especially in patients who cannot process chemical dyes. Some of the procedures that use contrast-enhanced ultrasound are targeted procedures where the contra contrast agents are designed to bind to a specific molecule which are then targeted at tissue expressing that substance. Non-targeted procedures which includes dynamic evaluation of the vascularity of a target lesion such as the picture shown on the top right to measure organ perfusion as well or uh, it is taken up by the specific cell based on a shell composition as we discussed uh, earlier such as Kupfer cells in the liver or non-vascular applications such as uh, inspection or evaluation of the urinary tract contrast echocardiography such as the picture shown on the right and lastly cancer cell identification such as the pictures shown on the left, bottom left, where b the microbubbles are uh, trapped between the uh, cancerous cells, allowing it to be imaged uh, or be more visible in the ultrasound image. In conclusion, 
Contrast Enhanced Ultrasound is an important application of ultrasound as it allows higher contrast in applications where certain features might not be very defined. The higher contrast is achieved by the higher difference in the impedance between the two interfaces. This is done by injecting gas microbubbles with different material to compositions to control certain attributes. That method can be used in targeted or non-targeted procedures to examine physiological functions such as perfusion. Lastly, contrast enhanced ultrasound has many new research fields that improve and, ampli uh, that uh, and apply contrast enhanced ultrasound to facilitate better healthcare with minimum risks. At the end, I hope this presentation was insightful and enjoyable for you. Thank you for your time.